Radio. Wrestling podcast featuring Rom and Bomber and Rav and the one and only Peanut. Woo! Jabber Radio. Jabber Radio. Jabber Radio. Jabber Radio. Bitches. Bitches. Sparking to Zion saying that Kofi just doesn't matter. And I'm like, yeah. that's not that. Oh, Cody it. wants anything that's going to make his career look good at this point. Yep. That fucking loser. Actually, You're my the least favorite Canadian. The only, <laughs> well, that's fine. You only know two. What's going on, guys? This is Jobber Radio. I'm Jake, a.k.a. Bomber. We got a podcast for you today. We're talking wrestling, among a few other things, including wrestling. And uh, first of all, I'm just going to say it is almost Christmas time. By the time this comes out, this is December 1st. We are in the final month of the year. Christmas is upon us. I think you guys need to give us a Christmas present right now. Go on to iTunes. Search Jabber Radio and give us a five-star review. How about that? How about that for a perfect Christmas present? You don't have to give us any money. Just give us a little review. Just give us a review. That's all I'm asking. That's all That's all we really need. But, uh, but yeah, check us out on Twitter, at Jabber Radio, and also on YouTube. Just search Jabber Radio. We will pop right up. But let's get to everybody that is here today. Uh, let's just start with the guy that wasn't even – he said he wasn't going to be here. Matt Zion, he's, he's here. What's, what's up? Yeah, I am busy as fuck because I'm uh, going to Seattle for three days. So I'm trying to get ready, but I got my. Uh, I have. My, I'm going to be folding shirts and uh, putting shirts up hot. on uh, hangers as we're doing the podcast. So. That is hot. Yeah. That's like Matt Lauer hot right there. But uh, what the fuck? Here we go. Yep, uh, Lee. Lee's here. What's going on, Lee? How you doing? Well, I had this great new idea just. Out of the blue for a new podcast I'm going to start. It's going to be about unboxing uh, gift packages. So yes. it is December. It's the time for giving. So if people want to send me presents, get in contact with me, and I will unbox them on the air yeah. via audio, via not audio. video, via audio, like for that. all your listening pleasure. It'll, it'll be like one of those AMSR videos or whatever the fuck they're called, nope. except really annoying. Nope, definitely not doing that. That's a horrible idea. But we also got Scott. Scott's here. How you doing, dude? I'm doing pretty good. Um, little bum that Matt stole my idea for a show about hanging shirts. On oh, a that's, my, that's, that's my new Damn podcast it. coming soon. I, I, <laughs> hanging you just, shirts. You hear me hanging shirts. <laughs> that's, yeah, all, all the ideas get stolen here. I was about to say, we're filled with great fucking ideas tonight. We're, we're on a roll. Ra- Rab. Rab's also here. Rab, what's your great idea for a new show? Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to episode one of Drop Mix Radio. <laughs> God. <laughs> We've got we've got a lot of really cool stuff for you today. We've got the hip hop pack yes. coming in. Uh, actually, it's coming in uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow I by eight p.m. Uh, tomorrow by, by eight p.m. And then the pop and rock pack will be here. Yes. Uh, either November thirtieth. Wait, no, that's in the past. December first. That's in the fake past. Uh, maybe yeah. tomorrow, which yes. will be the second, which is for fake tomorrow, which is really tomorrow is the first. So really two days from now, but maybe fake tomorrow. Uh, so. Uh, the, so, yes, you are now confused. But uh, before we start recording, um, I just received in the mail. Uh, what do you mean recording? Has this all not been recorded? This this is recorded. Well, I mean, again? people haven't heard. Free show. The, the kickoff. The, the, people didn't hear the kickoff show. Anyway, um, I did receive uh, a game called Drop Mix, which a lot of people don't even know what that is. I just found out what it was myself. It is a game by uh, Harmonic, Har- Harmonix. Yep. Harmonix in Hasbro. Yep. Um, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool, guys. You need to search it up. It's you. You, you throw cards down. Cards got little music chips in them. It, I'm not gonna go into the full detail. I just got it. That's what we were talking about. So you're not lost. Look it up. And I'm it's, gonna segue that. Let's segue that because you have no format today. Yes. How about music stuff? Because Jim Johnson got released from WWE. Jim Johnson. Okay. So there you go. There's your segue. Job WWE, done. WWE. Like, have they can? This hasn't been a hundred percent confirmed by WWE yet, has it? Just asking. Someone on Twitter mentioned it Someone from the on, company. Well, well, then I've no, it, on Twitter. Ha- it hasn't. So, it hasn't been confirmed not by been a WWE future endeavors or anything. But yeah, uh, but it's been like all over the place. place. Yeah, when's the last time they used him anyway? Uh, yeah, see, that's what I, that's what I was thinking. Well, I mean, he did he did uh, Corbin's theme recently. That's okay. that's the most recent thing he did. Yeah. 
and so, and uh, but Maharaja theme. For context, he'd done stuff since 1985, I think it was, and he'd been doing WWE's themes pretty much ever since. Like, and not just the instrumental type ones. Like, he he worked with Motorhead on the game and, and shit like that, right. and Batista's theme. Like, he he did all of it. Until about, I think, three or four years ago when they got CFOS or however you say those guys. CFOs. Who came in with, uh, like, Glorious, Nakamura, Balor, those guys. And they kind of took his job. And that yeah. became official. And it sucks because well, I thought he was literally a job for life Hall of Famer type guy. Because well, you think of wrestling music over the past 30 years, you're thinking of this guy's stuff. Well, bottom line, okay, uh, this is just me, ready to get, uh, ready to do my thing, um, but no, I'm fucking pissed off, by the way, on Twitter. Sure. No fucking doubt, man. I, I, the fucking wrestling people, the community just is absolute fucking worse, okay? No idea what happened with this Jim Johnson scenario. Nobody knows yet. Nobody knows yet, and already everybody's going in fucking talking shit about WWE. They're making the worst mistake of their life. They're fucking stupid. <clears throat> they they should never get rid of him. We don't. Nobody knows what the fuck happened. No, he's not even yep. officially released by the thing yet. Yet people are already shitting on the WWE because yeah. it's like, oh, fuck them. No, we went over this before with yeah. the rumors and stuff and what sure. could be and what couldn't be. For all we know, this guy's been grooming CFOs for the past three years, and he's moving on to try their stuff for the first time or, in 30. Right. Who knows? Or, we don't know. Or they just canned him. I mean, they we, could... We they, don't know. Yes, they could have I mean, easily... I have no problem. I have no problem with them just firing him, honestly. I mean, yes, it's... Uh, Jim Johnson's obviously been a big part of all our lives because we're wrestling fans and he's been making all these great themes forever. But if I told you right now, man, isn't it weird that Jim Johnson has, you know, got fired from WWE three years ago? You'd go, oh, he did? I must have missed that. But you right. wouldn't think, no, that's not true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Yeah, because he's not been nearly as prevalent, obviously. No, not at all. Yeah. yeah. No, the thing that just makes me oh just fucking pisses me off. Like people just wow. don't even care. Everything just, pisses oh you God. off. You're a weirdo. Wow, we're living in a society where where people make rash decisions on Twitter all the time. Whoa, when did this happen? <laughs> exactly. Now, I would be ups I would Why be would upset you let they... something like that upset you? That's like yeah, all that happens on Twitter. I mean, he's upset that everything. people are jumping to conclusions. It's just they yeah. always. It's, and it's Bomber, just, it's, it's, it seems it's worse with the WWE. It seems worse with the WWE. No, it's everything. It's just the only thing you care about. Yeah. everything else it's not just you're just exposed to the WWE stuff look at that's the just game literally the only thing you're following that the, literally yeah. the only thing mm -hmm. i i have in my life you're yeah. right yes so that's, yeah. how'd you know <laughs> honestly if you just open it up and look at the fact that this guy's done everything from stone cold to undertaker to oh, brett yeah. he's responsible for the music of wwe for 30 years i have all of the albums like it's sure. it's awesome it's great and I always pegged him as being a Hall of Fame guy at some point, and he probably still be. will be. Honestly. Still will be, probably. But yeah. he has literally yeah. They didn't. The the report said they didn't fire him. It said that <laughs> they're just not renewing his contract. So yeah, that's, so that means that's more to me. That sounds more like it's it's not nearly as bad. Like it, obviously they they could still do things with him in the future. But like when they have the the CFO guys or whatever, like they're they're kicking ass. Like they're just some of the best music ever. Here's the so flip side on that. Because they actually hired editors for a while who were doing like music videos and mashups, and they had maybe two or three, and then they dropped those guys and had another couple. And you see those YouTube mm -hmm. videos where they makes like APA and Undertaker and shit like that. Mm -hmm. Those guys are doing it. They might have a couple, so when they release some, they'll get new ones. That's what happened here. It's just they haven't done that for thirty years. <laughs> here they go. Now they're doing it. So it's. I don't think it's nearly as bad as people are making it out to be. It's just like oh. <laughs> like a, it's a it's a bit of a refresh. Uh, God, I wish they do it with fucking Kevin Dunn. Oh, I do. Well, I yes. agree. I, they got to get the NXT guys and production company up involved in that because he's stale. They got to move him on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good luck with that one. But no, it just uh, yeah. what's um the CFO guys though were like really fucking good. So yeah, I yeah. mean it's not like and they're oh, putting out an incredible uh, amount of music. Yeah, and like, it's it's, it's a new person of, putting shit out, and it's did similar do, to Johnson. Uh, how so they, varied, and yet. Kind of unique. So did yeah. they do Velveteen Dream? I think they did. I mean, Velveteen they... Dream. Pretty probably. sure they did. Probably, yeah. probably. They've done uh, most God of damn. them. So yeah, geniuses. Yeah, no, they they've done some really <laughs> amazing stuff. So I mean, it's not like oh well, we're fucked now with entrance music. No, I think we're perfectly no. fine. And the yeah. best part of it is, it does have a, a unique, distinct sound because even like TNA stuff with Dave Oliver was their main guy. It mm. all had a same the same sound to it. Sure. And oh, Dave Oliver was fucking awful. 
He, he had some good <laughs> stuff, oh. but it was a lot of same stuff. Hey, and right I mean, now? Jimmy Hart at WCW, it all sounded very similar and samey. CFOs, whatever, don't sound that. They at least like sound different songs so, and different Question bands, then: so. What yeah. uh, what is your guys' favorite music from them? Well, from if, CFOs. If you got, from if, CFOs. Yeah. CFOs. Uh, 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 I mean, mine is not. I think Nakamura's is like their masterpiece. Uh, I think Balor. Yeah. I think Balor over Nakamura. Hey, but those are definitely those the top two. two. All right, I may yeah. be going a little trendy right now, but I think uh, Enzo's theme's pretty damn good too. I might. I have no there. idea what all they've done. So, uh, glorious is theirs as well. Did they oh, do some Samoa Joe's? Joe's? They've, they did most Joe's. of the yeah, stuff yeah, over the Joe's. last two years is there. Uh, Braun, they did. They did. Yeah. Yeah. I like. I like Samoa Joe's. Uh, I, I think that one. I like Oscar's theme <laughs> a lot. They did that. Yeah, Oscar's great. But they didn't do the Usos. I know they mentioned that, but I think yeah, either to me it'd be the Enzo or Nakamura. Those are two that now, definitely. For me to flip that what's your favorite one from johnston well if you got just a little plug real quick if you guys want to go back and listen to our best in the business i was gonna say the same thing yeah mm-hmm. where we broke down best wwe song ever which we won't spoil it you need to go watch it on our youtube channel it's also on itunes but uh personally for me so i voted for the winner which was the rock god damn what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> so uh <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't even fucking know anymore. Hey, God damn! They had two seconds to go click on it. That's plenty. Yeah, maybe they hit the pause button and went. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um. <laughs> fuck. Uh, <laughs> come back to me now. I'm thrown for a goddamn loop now. Well, I'll jump in because while you're figuring your own self out, um, they did a signature sounds a DVD a few years ago where they look at like 20 songs and they interviewed him about it and he's on Beyond the Mat talking about Vader's theme. And he talks about like under uh, Warriors theme and how to do stuff. And The Rock was almost this like, not quite a porn groove, but he put a blues theme onto it, and that's how he got that song. It's just it's neat to see the different ideas for like he where really the song good. started from and went wrong, and then fixed it. So he did a really good <laughs> uh, podcast with uh, Austin uh, a couple years back, yes. a few years back already. Yeah, which I would suggest anyone uh, checking out because he had a lot of good stories about well, I mean, that. Like the DX theme is rhythm and blues, except he put those guitars on it and this little things like that. And that's the that's the guy who's been doing this forever. So um, I got yeah. mine. I got it now. You're, you're uh, good. You're back. Yeah, I'm back. <laughs> um, definitely, I, I was definitely really big on Ass Man, uh, Mr. Ass, which actually didn't make the bracket because me and Peanut failed. We tried to get that on there, but you guys wouldn't let it. Um, also. Triple H's Whoa, um, spoilers, dude. Shit. Triple, yeah, let, let me spoil something that wasn't even on the show. Yeah. Um, also, Triple H is the Motorhead. I heard like John Johnston worked with Motorhead on that. I was from what I read. I don't know if that was accurate or not, but I said most that likely. Like 10 minutes ago. Oh, you said that? Okay. I was I was <laughs> yeah. busy in despair, but um, but yeah, that no, was before, probably before. one of my favorites. Yeah. That was probably one of my favorites. I mean, I, I love Triple H's uh, uh, My Time. Obviously, that was... My Time was good, yeah. Well, hell, they just the... released... And he's, it, he mentions him in the song. Hey, Jimmy hit me with that Triple H. Yeah. Oh, There's is that the Dying of, like... Seagulls one? Oh, God, that's... Yeah, the, really... the Dying Seagulls, exactly. the beginning, it sounds like, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. But what about... Did Zion, did you say yours? Or did you say it? What... No. Uh, I just off the top of my... I, I'd have probably a different answer if I really thought about it. But uh, I've always really liked Kane's. I think Kane's yeah. is just a... Uh, just, uh, fucking sure. iconic theme for his you know that's why i hate it every time that he comes out with like a newer updated version like just give him the original one yeah Th- there was that one where it actually had like lyrics and stuff that was uh that was interesting oh they did that the oh there you go <laughs> yeah, that was what forced that was finger, that was finger 11 that. slow chemical yeah, 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 yeah there remember when they gave Direct stone cold i think they that. gave stone cold's lyrics <laughs> That, that was terrible. That was disturbed. Oh, I loved, disturbed. I, loved, yeah. I actually like that. I, I, I thought that was I awesome. That one. That's not bad. Yeah, actually, I actually. I thought that was awesome. But then again, I mean, I was definitely in the point of my life where I loved Austin and Disturbed at the same time. So, yeah. uh, you know, I was like yeah. 13 yeah. or something. That was pretty yeah, good. Maybe maybe Vader or uh, I I don't know did he did he do the first version of Batista's fucking theme when he yes. when it, without the lyrics I love that one. Yeah. Oh, you don't I like, like the saliva or... version. I think it was Monster, yeah. yeah I like Monster. Vader's. The Hardys is one that still stands with me. Um, Isn't that production maybe. music? No, the Hardys yeah. is production music. It is. Hardys. Oh, okay, it is. Okay. Um, and Airborne did a remix of it, so my mistake. Um, so scratch that. <laughs> I'm trying to remember, though. Vader's and Brett is the one we that we argued about a lot on the, the podcast one. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. But those ones probably are way up there for me. Yeah, but uh, you need to go check and out APA. that episode, by the way. You need to go check out that Best in the oh, Best yeah. episode if you haven't already. It's a fun one. 
Um, all right. Well, that's all I got, guys. I'm out of here. Uh, I don't have anything right. else to talk about. Um, you like, asked questions know. on Twitter. Yeah. People... Did anybody reply? Uh, yeah, they did. They I mean, gave I us got, topics. I got like one or something, but because uh, I mean, no, you got we three. We talk about the non-news of Leo Rush. Yeah, it's not news. Anyway, next. Yeah, we, we talking <laughs> about Leo Rush because everybody, of course, is just trying to jump on the Leo Rush fuck Leo Rush bandwagon. All that so, happens. Why do you it. like all the worst things? Like, <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Where did you come from? <laughs> <laughs> Why is he? All, what do you mean? I mean, I know worst. the answer to "Where did you come from?" is the He's fucking dope. South. But <laughs> I can't. No. Okay, now I came from Jacksonville, North Carolina. Oh, that's the worst. It's not even it's the best Jacksonville. Oh God! <laughs> Actually, it probably is the best Jacksonville. To be honest with you. But no, no Leo really Rush not. thing. There was rumors he was released, and then the, all this Twitter had all the WWE yeah. stuff removed, and his hometown went from like Orlando to Nashville, wherever he's from. But what's still on there is a pinned tweet about being signed by it, WWE. It you... And then it's confirmed he's not released. Whether so, or not he is or no not. News, he worked the match tonight as of recording this. Yeah. There you go. Either way, so, yeah. whether or not so he anything, was they're or not. Yesterday, that he worked the match yesterday because today is the first. Well, yeah, that's right. Yes. Release, yeah. It's actually November 30th. So um, um, anyway, either way, whether or not he was gone or not, uh, it was just it goes just even more to prove like as soon as a little rumor hits, no matter how true or false it is, Everybody jumps on it, no matter what. Don't even care. Yeah, we don't. We just did a whole segment. We don't even know if Jim Johnson was fired. Exactly. Yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Now the thing with Leo Rush is, if he had any balls to try and pull something off, it's to make this be his gimmick. Something relating to this. Well, I mean, that's not like all his decision, but no. But if he can spin that, so people are talking his... about him. Let's use so, that. So his gimmick would be that he's a clueless asshole. Like he's going to bring that to the main roster? Or yeah, just Vince will love bag, it. I feel just douchebag. Isn't that what Vince does with people? I get, I guess it's unfortunate, but right. But um, yeah, when well, maybe they'll get him fired really quick. That'd be well, good. So anyway, uh, yeah. enough Leo Rush hate. There's no need for it in here today. So let's just move on to uh, to um, first of all, let's we didn't get an overall impression of uh, Survivor Series. What are you guys overall? We usually do like to do the thumbs up, thumbs down. Um, just overall review and thoughts of the show. Matt Zion, I know you did a full video. What was your overall here on the podcast? Thumbs up, thumbs down for uh, Survivor Series 2017. He's folding a shirt. He'll be right with okay, you. He's he left. left. He's folding a he shirt. Left. All right. Uh, Rab. You're not the wrong person. Rab, thumbs up, thumbs down. 75% uh, of a thumb up, and then the tip of the thumb has been cut off and is now lying on the floor in a pool of blood. Oh, okay. I don't know. Is that a good thing? That's, I don't know. I like that skill. It's good. I assume that's a good thing because I heard 75%. That's just what happened. Uh, you know, your interpretation <laughs> of it is whatever it is. Well, God damn it. How about I just go next? Uh, I'll give you a real fucking answer. Um, I get overall... why, is, wait, wait, why is my answer not a real answer? I think my answer properly explains how I feel about... I think the Canadians would agree that they understand how I feel about the pay-per-view based on what I said. Cutting your thumb off. Yeah. He liked it, but it hurt him. Yeah. It was kind of, eh, meh. I, I, I kind of banged my thumb, but eh, I'm all right with it. Well, I, yeah, I'm, well, I'm giving it a thumbs up. I thought it, overall there was a lot of good matches on you the like show. You like everything. You I like everything. I don't like things people oh like. Oh, my God. You, oh, my God. <laughs> The show was overall. It, it was. It was it definitely. I think this. We could all agree that it's. It's for real. It was an overall positive uh, show. Your least favorite part of it was the was the Daniel Bryan segment with Stephanie McMahon. <laughs> I think that was everybody. <laughs> oh God, Rami's in the background. Yeah, back, Rami's baby. back. He's back. He's done folding the shirt. So uh, yeah, I had, to, I had to hang him up. <laughs> so Zion, we we know you released a video already. A full Survivor Series. What is your Thumbs up, thumbs down on the show here on the podcast. Uh, I just, I well, it was more nitpicky for me personally, but the the main event ending was garbage, like really garbage. But it gave me like the best, my top Reddit posts of all time when uh, one of the fans, um, oh god, I'm forgetting his name right now. Which I should give him credit because he's one of the Java Radio guys. Um, but he uh, made the pi picture of Braun Strowman trying to figure out the situation with like the <laughs> yes, team overlay. Yeah. yeah, and that shit got stolen and put everywhere. It was awesome. I was like, yes, oh. <laughs> yes. Wow. Uh, but that main event was God, man. How did it's, they? How did they fuck that up? It started <laughs> great, didn't it? Yeah. Well, I mean, it's just like on paper that was. It was just just like the Rumble this last, as soon, last time. As soon as the match started, and we got like Finn and uh, Shin. 
He kept calling him Shin, which was really weird. Yeah, that's weird. You got Finn and Shin in the fucking was match at the that? same time. The Michael Cole. <clears throat> oh, well, that makes sense, yeah. Well, when we had Nakamura and, and Balor in the ring at the same time, like that's when I knew the match was going to be bad. What Why? Do you mean? That was like the, one of the best I was like, yeah, what do you mean? Yes, and it happened like immediately. I got you. Well, I guess that's because no, they, it, they were going to get rid of Balor. So they went kind of fun with it, though, because, I mean, then Triple H no, wanted to knock him over. That it's, was cool. It started, like, I knew, like, something in the back of my head was like, why are they doing this now? Why isn't this happening 20 minutes into the match? Uh, I got you. And it it's became like, very clear very quickly that because this was going to be a match that was all about all the terrible things from the year 2003. See, just, and they just I was the wrong people. I mean, that's what it comes down to. Yeah, like, why, why I was into it. with Triple H? I don't like, I don't I understand that. Well, because this is WWE. <laughs> because no. you love terrible things. Because this is WWE no. and sometimes everything has to be about the McMahons. It, well, uh-huh. yeah. So for the past, um, what, 18 years? I think someone posted that. It's been 18 years since Triple H mug married Stephanie, yeah, in that Vegas drive-through, it's like happy anniversary. <laughs> um, but no, I, I mean the match started out really fun for it's the main fun. event, and yeah. it was great. Like Triple H comes in, Nakamura's like, "Come on!" and then Bobby Roode goes in, and the clones mm-hmm. face off, and it, the spinebuster awesome battle moments. Yeah, it was cool stuff. Yeah, but, but then, then, but then they the got part that got me, the young guys, or all the like new people, well, and you're like, "Wait, what why? I didn't like." Well, the part that really got me was when Angle pinned Cena. It's like, no, no. Ballard do it. He did the move. Let let Ballard do it. That would be amazing for him. But no, no, okay. We're not doing that. And all oh, we're oh, Braun's killing everybody. Oh, okay. That's sure. fine. That Braun's good. Because really when you look at Nakamura being the weak one out first, that's still ten top guys. You, yeah. you someone's gotta be first. It's fine. But then it all came down like it's Horton and Cena. They're gonna fight Braun. At least Braun stood tra- stood tall. That's good. But it was like, no, we we've been here before. We want our fun new toys back in. Don't take our new toys away. Oh, I mean, it's, but then Braun's sorry. like, fuck this Triple H. I'm gonna choke you. It was I, great. It's the year 2003. Everything's gotta be about Triple H and Shane McMahon. But and I, it advanced and, and a lot of like Kurt Angle. It, even it, Kurt Angle's back. Oh my god. It made like stories deeper though. I mean, it didn't just like, oh, let's just get rid of these fucking guys like just to get rid of the guys. It made it what stories it deeper? It, it made like only the McMahon bullshit that yes, no those, one wants I mean, deeper. Was, but that's the only thing it made deeper. It was the stories it, involving it, them, it's yes. It's the only thing that didn't need it. It's the only thing that didn't need it. We it didn't just, need that. It just it just didn't work, though, too. Like, that's the... the it, I see what they were going for. They were trying to do, like, when Ziggler was the last uh, on one of the teams, when they were trying to get rid of um, Triple H and stuff, how Shane was going to be in that role. But the problem is... The moment Orton got eliminated, the crowd was like, okay, well, yeah, he has no chance. So that's the end of that. And, I mean, why would he? He's not a wrestler. Like, in at least in yeah. kayfabe turns, he's like, he was the worst option to go last is, is what I the what I take from that. Because they could have – I'm trying to think of who, like – God, Orton, I even – Cena – I think Cena would have been a, a better choice to be yeah. the final one because at least Cena gets a reaction. But, like, Orton, I don't think they would have reacted to him. Shane, no. they – but they clearly didn't. Orton would have worked because. Uh, but I mean, like you know, who would've, else would have been really fun? Who was getting an awesome reaction to be the final one for Team SmackDown would be Rude. Like Rude, they were going fucking crazy for Rude, which mm-hmm. I personally still don't like him as a babyface. I'm not really big on that, but I I see now why they did it because the reaction he gets from that song is it, it, it's yeah. impossible for him to be a bad guy right now. So they're kind of writing that out until it dies down, but. Be rude would have been the perfect one to be the final guy because it, it gives him a rub. It makes people show he's a big deal. And then when he loses, you know, he doesn't have to be a, some weird bullshit ending but, where Triple H is like standing in the ring for nine hours, not doing anything. It's like, I, it's just, it just but, it was a clusterfuck. No, yeah, I, I see what you're saying as far as like advancing him and stuff. But what does that, what does that leave the whole storyline with Shane? What would you do? Okay, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't oh my God. God. Kevin Owens. And Sami Zayn. So, That's wait, the storyline people if, care about. If your excuse is, but what about Shane? Uh, then we just don't see eye my, to eye. My, no, my, I, not it, be. I didn't the say. whole the whole thing is brand superiority. How Stephanie saying to Kurt Angle, how dare how dare you let Shane McMahon step everything my father built? Uh, your father built that too. Your father well, built both. But, You're both the same company. But even Why then, are you the, fighting? It, it's dumb. It makes as no long sense. as as long as SmackDown loses. We move forward with that story that no one cares about. 
Because it was no. about brand superiority. I'm ask it you wasn't one about Already over. It wasn't about like sh nope. Stephanie slapping Shane in the face. That wasn't what the no. that wasn't what this fucking thing was about. Well, this what whole this time. is supposed to be is like American League versus National League. That's all it is. It's bragging rights. I'm gonna ask you guys it's what it was. Not... What was the biggest story coming into this match? The one we all don't like. I don't know. I don't know. We're I don't not. We're was... not disputing it. No, it, no, it was. Guys... It was Raw versus SmackDown. It wasn't Stephanie yeah, versus I don't, I don't, Shane. Yeah, I, I think Bomber. I think yeah. what you're missing here is that they. Even though I get what you're saying, the biggest storyline going in technically was like Shane and Stephanie and Angle. That whole like intertwined. Well, honestly, it was more. It, it was really, more Shane and Angle. Yeah, but it was than it also, was Shane and Stephanie. It was more Triple H and but, Angle. As but well. but really overall though it was just about the whole bragging rights. I mean like they didn't. Why would you? Uh, okay, I, obviously they didn't do it on purpose. But why would you potentially ruin what could have been a fantastic match with that fucking awful finish? Like it, that finish was so goddamn flat that Braun Strowman nearly like died on the apron from old age. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, think it fell flat because it was a little too confusing. It was just very it was weird. Very way. confusing. Yeah, yeah it was weird. Very Triple confusing. H because. Triple H all of a sudden is like, wait, what? He's gonna he's aligning with with Shane. What the fuck's going on here? And then, bam, yeah. hits him with the pedigree. That was all like super. Everybody was pretty much had the same fucking look that Strowman had. Everyone's like, what the fuck? Yeah, yes, well, no, that I like was the idea confusing. That, yes, I like the was. idea that Triple H was like, nah, fuck this. I'm siding with Shane. Oh wait, Braun will kill me. No, no, Raw, go Raw, woo Raw, yeah. <laughs> no, I I, that would have been better. I think if they went if he went with that, but but I mean, what is this I, building towards Triple H and Braun? Kurt Angle and Braun? Uh, a lot yeah, of things, actually. You know, the, like, whole, the whole bragging rights and under siege wasn't about Shane standing in the middle of the ring. It was about Shane sending his guys out to fucking murder Raw. Yeah, I don't even know why no. Shane was, like, in the match. I understand they were trying to do, like, GM versus GM, but, I mean, kayfabe terms, Angle has legitimately almost killed Shane in the past, and Shane's not an active competitor. So, like, from a, from a logic standpoint, you think he would be like, yeah, I'm definitely not going to be in this match. I'm going to go ahead and put... Uh, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and put somebody else in there that's an actual wrestler. Can we talk about for a second how bad Kurt Angle looked? Dude, he looked terrible, and I have a theory yeah. on that though. He's like all muscle in the neck, and it's not no, good. Well, it's weird. It's because he looked. He looked no. What, what was it like two years ago or a year and a half ago? He was great in what culture? He looked fantastic. If you watch his matches, he looked. He was moving around and stuff. My well, theory is this year. Yeah. My theory is the reason why he looks like shit in WWE is because he's off the juice. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, so he's he's finally like he, he feels everything. He probably moves a lot slower, so he's not he's not doping up essentially to get he through looked, the matches. He looked so slow. I couldn't, yeah. I can't have said that he was gonna look as bad as he did. Yeah, I'm I'm almost I mean, to the point where he, I feel he, like he didn't look him... great during the Shield match, but like it was they real last him. second. Yeah, they protected him. And yeah, well, and it was real last second. Like you know, yeah, he wasn't even supposed to be in that match like three days earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I, I think give him one Mania match and call it a career. Like, mm -hmm. let him let him, him Triple H have their two <clears> slow <throat> guys confusing finish where Triple H wins somehow, and then uh, let's let's call it. Because it's just, yeah, he just doesn't look good anymore. And so, health is more important. And it overall. it makes me sad. I don't want to see a Kurt Angle that can't go. It makes me sad. Well, I mean, that's, uh, that's Kurt Angle's life. I mean, one of the best. You get older, so, yeah, yeah, but but there's a time when you got to walk away. And and that's why I said, give him, give him mania, give him mania against Triple H. Like they can still Look, go. You gotta know when to hold them and know, know when to fold them. You know what the better match when to walk away. was? Brock and, and AJ. Yeah, Brock and AJ was fantastic. That was amazing. Yeah, it was really good. There was, a, I, there I was, was several good match. They're really good matches I, on the show. I was really, really scared at first though, because I really, I was, I was like, please, for love of God, don't have him just pick up AJ after beating the shit out of him for five minutes and F five him and pin him, because then I was gonna fucking throw something on my TV. Um, but once the whole story played out, man, that was yeah. besides. What, it's funny because I was kind of robo doped him. I, I, I was him. watching that. I was watching him just just dominate AJ, and my thought was, "Rami's super pissed right now." Yeah, I yeah. was not happy. No, we, I was we on saw stream. That the job radio chat. I wasn't, I wasn't you were happy. happy? Yeah. Oh my god, it was like so. No, no, good, no. Though. Listen to me. No, I wasn't happy when he was just beating the fuck out of Styles because my worry Slowly. was again that he was just going to squash him, that he was going to pick him up, F5, and that was it. But once Especially AJ... Especially they were talking about, yeah. the, they, we haven't seen this since he beat Cena, and it's like, oh, fuck, that's the yeah, one where he once, can, That's it. Once Styles basically started to get mo like some momentum back on him, and I realized what they were doing, then I was completely See, happy. That's it was, it was a how, that's, doesn't that suck to watch a match like that, though? Doesn't no, that, that means he was in hook, line, what and are you sinker. Talking about? And they, no, what to watch are you a talking match, about? sitting there, think instead of enjoying the match as you're watching it. At for what? Why it would is, I enjoy Brock Lesnar squashing AJ Styles? 
Because you no. don't know what, how it's going to turn out. You don't Bummer, know if AJ's going to history has shown back. us that he's Wait, done that see, to multiple you're watching, people. I mean, oh. Bummer, step back. Step back for a second. That was the story they were actually trying to tell. They were yeah. trying to make people like Matt be, oh, God, they not were, again. They were, that's they, exactly what they were doing. It. See, Cole you was weren't literally mad. saying, we saw, what's that? hold on. Cole was saying, this. we haven't seen this dominance since he beat Cena to win the title. And then when AJ got in, like, oh, maybe it's not all over. And Matt gets on board. They yeah. literally had him hook, line, and sinker. They this match was successful. He was oh, yeah, upset, I mean, like, and they, they conveyed his emotions. They kayfabe me it. essentially, because like, yeah. like I was basically a mark at that point because I was I was upset with Lesnar dominating him. But that, I mean that that was what they wanted. They wanted people. Why? Because I I think that they figured that Lesnar. You know, he was upset because he was it got the turn. Why would they want yeah. that? Because it got the turn. It yeah, turned. I mean, they back. told a good story. Yeah, I mean, that almost makes it worth that uh, horrible Cena squash that I still fucking hate that everybody. I love that match. That was a good match. It. You hate John Cena. I love that match. Yeah. Not, no, I don't hate John Cena. I love that match because <laughs> it was so out of the blue and it wasn't was even a match. <laughs> it was great. Squash was... What I love about it. It was great. No, hate it's, it. It's, what I loved it's, about it's it. What I lo it's what I love about that match. No bomber. Came out of the blue and. He just wrecked him, and he go, "Oh shit!" Like, yeah, that was like I mean, one of the moments you always time. remember that match. This guy's for real. John Cena's a, a, a John Cena plays a superhero. This guy's for real a monster. And then they had a match where John Cena played a superhero, but the other guy was for real a monster. Yep. Mm. Now the thing I like, and he did beat him with one F five. But someone mentioned in the Discord chat again that. AJ was getting out of the F5 a lot, and then he yeah. got caught with one. I'm like, oh, okay, this is good. He did nail him with one, but that sold the danger more than just, boom, one done. Yeah, it didn't bother me either. That he, it was that going for one, him. got out of it. Going for one, got out of it. Going for one, got out of it. Oh, now we got him. It didn't, uh, it didn't bother me that he beat AJ with it, too, because no. AJ's no. a small dude, so and me, he it makes got sense that he would beat him in one. one. Plus, he mm -hmm. took a lot of damage throughout the match. Yeah. That would have yeah, yeah, made more sense. He caught him in midair and did it. It wasn't the turnaround like... The other, it, so. it solidified it AJ, I think, uh, in a lot of people's eyes for what everybody already kind of knows, that AJ is the best current wrestler on the planet. Oh. And I'm, I really do think he's going to go down as one of the best of all time once he's done. That's oh, yeah. A, that's a future plug for Best in the Business, by the way, coming up later. Mm -hmm. one, one I, there you go. But anyway, you know my um, vote. <laughs> you, know, you know what match I thought was, uh, was better than I expected? What's that? Um, Usos versus the Bar. Nope, oh, nope. I expected that to be great. I, I didn't. Was... I didn't like it. You didn't I wait. Not... You didn't like it. No, I, I, didn't, like I didn't expect it. it to be much. I liked it a lot. It was a great no, match. That was, was a really good match. Hair. That was one I of the didn't top care. Three. Well, I didn't. I didn't care. I. I. The fact that they took away the the Shield versus the Usos no. pissed me off a lot. So I wasn't a fan of that. And just having two heel teams go at it. I mean, from a technical standpoint, sure, but I just didn't. I personally didn't care. Yeah, so but I the didn't Usos are kind of turning right now. The fans are turning the Usos right now, so they were kind of the faces in the match. A little bit. You know, I, it's the Usos weren't the problem for me. I really don't like the bar right now. I, I don't like how... I hate how they're three-time champions. Like, I hate how they keep getting the belts back. I'm just like, why why did they even bother taking the belts off them again to begin with? I mean, I'm, again, I'm probably old school. I like longer title reigns, but I'm f fucking over this whole, like, flip-flopping of titles all the time. And eh, I don't know. I, if I'm not invested in something, then I'm... I just casually kind of watched it and didn't, didn't sure. care. But the Shield and Uso, or the Shield and the New Day was awesome. That was that was match, all right. That was mm -hmm. really good. Yeah, that was really really fun. I that liked was, it a lot. To me, to me, my top three matches was AJ Brock, Uso's Bar, and Shield New Day. Those were my uh, three favorite. And th I mean, the other matches weren't that bad. I mean, I, mean, I would agree with that. Yeah, those are to me. Those are my top three. But overall, like I said, there was to me the main event wasn't a horrible match. There was a bad ending, but great moments. Funny moments. And MVP uh, Alicia Fox with one of the best in-ring performances I've ever seen. Oh, my God. God Dude, God. her and Naomi looked yeah, like TNA bad. levels of train wreck. Yeah, it was bad. <laughs> Even unfortunately, How is she so bad? How is she still employed? I this is what I'm she, saying. She she was the, the captain of, of the team because she's been there forever. How, yeah, how many years has she been with? Let me. I'm going to look it up. Yeah. Um, but even unfortunately, even the Charlotte and Alexa Bliss match wasn't that great. There was quite a few uh, botches in there. I mean, it I actually, wasn't a horrible I match. Liked, I actually liked the Charlotte Alexa Bliss match a lot more than most people did. Yeah, uh, I'm not a lot saying... of people feel that Bliss got way too much offense, which I get. Um, but I thought it was a fine match. It, it wasn't I mean, anything to write yeah. home about, but it was fine. Yeah. Um, what were you guys' thoughts on the actual countdown clock? I, I did, or not countdown clock, but the the scoreboard basically. 
2008. Oh, I, oh, I it, hated it. It ruined that. everything. It did. Because you knew, that when you yeah, got to the end dumb. of the show, you knew who was going to win the match. Well, for it only really ruined one. It ruined Brock and AJ. Like, totally. Because it's just like, even though know, we all knew like Brock was going to win, they took away that little bit of disbelief because like they had to tie it up for the main event. So it was just like, God, they why did they even bother putting that thing there? That was so know. dumb. Yep, I don't know. They just yeah. tried to, I guess, make the main event even more... Oh, it's tied up. Who's going to get the win? Maybe I, that's It's my... a classic case of them telling you how amazing the thing is supposed to be instead of letting it be amazing. Yeah. yeah. And in this case, they would have tried to make it be amazing and fail because Triple H, for some reason, still has horrible sense of timing for when to do this stuff. Yeah. It just doesn't quite To work, me, that was so. my only, uh, that was my biggest pet peeve of the night was that damn uh, scoreboard clock between the Raw and SmackDown. But overall, I thought it was a pretty good show. But, so Alicia Fox has been with the company for almost 10 years, and she's still that bad. Uh, well, she's fucking somebody. Has to be. She was with Wade Barrett. She was getting the Barrett barrage right to her face for a while. Wow. <laughs> this guy's got some bad news. That seems very... I'm afraid I've got a big load. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Um, so things that just happened, uh, Mojo Raleigh just turned. What do you guys, I don't know if you even noticed that, but, uh, Mojo <laughs> Raleigh just turned on Ryder. He's still on the roster. Like three months too late. Yeah, well, exactly. Well, didn't we talk about that on the podcast, like four podcasts ago? about them potentially yeah. turning. Yes. Yeah. Cause they were teasing. Not potential, him. not them potentially turning. We talked about like, okay, they're about to turn him. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's, um, eh, whatever. Matter. So it it all it. remains to be seen what they do with him. If they do something yeah. dumb like the Bludgeon Brothers, like that gimmick oh, should not exist. Oh, that's terrible. Only, that is the, the only... worst thing for Harper possible. I haven't seen it yet. I heard, actually heard a lot of people liked it, though. It's only... not... It's just... It's kind it's of like dumb. 80s, right? It's like the 80s. Only, the oh, only, the only good thing 80s. is that they've got better gear now. They don't look like fucking bums yeah. in the street. Well, they're that's wearing, it. like, Mankind slash Kane gear. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Well, yeah, they're... but they come. They do this old NXT looking entrance, which is whatever, and then they just beat the shit out of people, which that's fine. And, and once again, I have to bring it up. Everyone, like every couple of podcasts, why aren't they just with Bray over on Raw? Um, like can anybody? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Can anybody? Or, why is not Luke why? Harper this amazing face right now? Like when he turned and was great from going against Bray and Orton. Like what happened? Dude, they still drop the ball on not doing Harper versus Orton versus Bray at WrestleMania. Yeah, to try and absolutely. Help get Luke over because like Cause, because cause that he match... was was straight up fucking garbage and that being triple threat i think people would have been more into it because orton orton and wyatt was just one of the biggest fucking worthless feuds of that what are you talking about you didn't like you didn't like the worms on the map yeah really right good. i enjoyed the worms <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Bummer as well. speaking, speaking of crap uh man wyatt's terrible <laughs> He, uh-huh. he, dude i i i if there's anybody who needs some sort of like gimmick change it's him. That that gimmick fucking sucks. Like, and it's not really his fault at this point because they they made him lose so many times. They like he's just not a threat to anybody. But yeah. he comes out and he's like he's like laughing. He's like, "You will fear me." And it's like, why would we fear you? You you lost to oh. Orton like a little bitch, and you you've know, done nothing of value. Hey, you know what's sad? <laughs> what's sad is that the what you just said right now has been a topic of conversation once again on this podcast forever. Yeah, forever. Yep. Forever. But well, they had to make Orton be champion. You know, stop coming out and losing and, you know, laughing about how cool you are and losing some more. You know, and sad Finn thing, even said in his promos, so like, this guy doesn't care about wins or losses. That makes him dangerous. So I'm like, yeah. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Real, real dangerous. That's, he's going uh, uh, to right. <laughs> dump some food dye on Finn Balor. Oh, shit. <laughs> Then we'll make him look like I'm a pumpkin sad. and dress in drag. I'm yeah. sad they dropped the drag, personally, because I feel yeah. like if they'd given him some time with it, I actually well, was interested to see where it would go, but it's definitely dead. Well, that the best the thing done. the Bray Wyatt has done is potentially bring about broken, woken, whatever Matt Hardy. And why? How did he bring that about? Well, because he had a match with him, and then Matt's like, "Oh, okay, that's what you're shit. Yeah, yeah, It's yeah. that's the all, all great. It's the only credit he gets. I know we're all kind of all over the place, but we're going from thing to thing. But they're all a little connected. How how interesting that TNA did that release the statement release how oh. any current or future talent can take their gimmicks anywhere now yep so uh, like uh, we could get ec3 working on the past ones too yeah we could get ec3 as ec3 in uh wwe one day which would be pretty cool uh, but uh, the reason apparently why they did this though is that uh matt was gonna win <laughs> mm-hmm. he took him to court uh melter's talking about it he took him to court something happened legally aka matt was totally gonna win and they're like well, uh, we can at least look like good guys by coming out and saying the complete opposite of what we were our stance was, you know. 
a little while ago. Also, we can so, stop paying our lawyers with this no money when yeah. we're clearly going to lose this match. We're yeah. going to lose this case. Matt, on that note, if they go full broken, woken, whatever, and Jeff comes back all weird and they do all the stuff, what if Bray goes to Sister Abigail in that regard? What do you mean? With the broken shit. Oh, you mean like he just joins them and... He's in, like, involved in it. Because they were back and forth on Twitter like a year ago talking about this kind of stuff. Oh, he could be their, so. uh, their their faction's job guy. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Break and Wyatt. There you go. Break and Wyatt. <laughs> <laughs> just, we, need, we need somebody to lose for Matt and Jeff. Get out there, Bray. All right. <laughs> Sister Abigail's on the way. <laughs> Has it been so long that since this broken stuff that you don't care anymore? Because that's I how really I feel. No, I, I never cared. Care yeah, I, don't care. <laughs> I thought it was. In, I mean, I wasn't opinion. super into it like a lot of people were, but yeah. I thought it was at least interesting. I liked it. Yeah. It was interesting, and I want to see what they do with it. Let's. He, I'm all think, on board for chance. I think he can win me over with it. I'll see. I'll give it time to see what he does. Yeah, I mean, I'm not saying that I'm, but, I'm, but I'm never going to like it. I, I just don't I care. Just, just don't care. Yeah, I mean, like he should have done that three months into being back. Like come come out as normal Hardy. Then you know Jay lose the tag titles and he 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 breaks again. But no, eh. I, get, I get that they couldn't because of the loss. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. But it's I mean, that just I mean, we'll see change, where it goes. That didn't change history. I, I just don't. Mm-hmm. We we didn't go back six months in time just because there was a lawsuit. I, uh, if he if I well, what I hope he doesn't do is just rehash a lot of stuff he did in TNA. I hope that he tries to take it further and do some some new things. Because I mean, he, his stuff in TNA was pretty pretty inventive. Yeah, he has said that he wants to keep going. Like that was the past. His Twitter posts have even been like, what has my mortal vessel been doing? We need to get back to the Great War and move forward. I'm like, yes. Have fun. Do it. I think that's cool. Good for him. Um, I mean, good for him because he was definitely almost done with the company at this rate. (laughs) So he needed this so bad. And I guess one other thing, Bummer, is all the women that just came up to Raw and SmackDown with the NXT ladies and Paige. So lazy. There is no one. There are no women on NXT anymore. Hey, uh, Lee. Ember you Moon. Love There's it. Ember Moon. What do you? Yeah, what Ember, do you Ember Moon. This? Ember Moon and and the Kyrie Sane. And, oh, and uh, uh, Shayna Baszler is on there now. I want to hear Lee's thoughts because he loves true. women's wrestling. He does. What happen? Love he loves women wrestling. The uh, the two factions debuting and copycatting each other. There's the Absolution and the Riot Squad on SmackDown. These are chicks. Yeah. <laughs> so Paige came back. <laughs> what? She came back. Yeah, Paige is back with Mandy Rose and. Uh, MMA yeah, person. Sure. Yeah. And then uh, um, uh, uh, Ruby Riot with Liv Morgan and Sarah Logan. So I forget. How did they do that? Sonya Deville. Uh, Sonya Deville. There you go. Because well, Paige's movie is going to be out out. sometime uh, next yeah. year. So they got to get her back on TV. Uh, yeah, Paige came back. Time. She's all, I'm back and being all dumb. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. wait, wait, wait to make me not want to tune in to Raw or SmackDown even more. <laughs> well, oh, by the okay. way, that'll put butts in the seats. You're going to love this. There's rumors that they're going to have a women's Royal Rumble. No, it's all right. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Let's, I, let's I not do that. I'm interested to watch uh, a women's Royal Rumble. Why not? No, because they won't do top rope. They won't go over the top. It'll be through the oh, rope yeah, bullshit it'll be, again. It'll be just Probably. through it. Yeah, nope. that's true. I will, uh, no, I, I would there's, rather There's pass. not enough people either. I would rather pass on the Rumble, and I would like to see a first ever women's elimination chamber. I, I want to pass on the rumble. That, that would be interesting I could, too. That'd be I could dig that. Elimination there, are, there are enough top women to do an elimination yeah. chamber. There yeah. are not enough to do yeah. a Royal Rumble. Uh, as far as the actual factions go, I think they put the wrong people together. Uh, it's very clear that there's three that are kind of like, like Paige, uh, what's it? Uh, Ruby Riot or whatever the fuck her name is, or yeah. as I say uh, in uh, doggy voice, like Ruby Riot. Um, <laughs> and then that MMA chick. Those three should have been together, and then they should have put the three like good-looking ones, like the blonde, like or, or the more yeah. traditional. Oh, uh, you're so together. superficial. Shade. That's what I mean. Though. I mean, like once <laughs> one is like, it just feels like they had six people and three and three matched really well, and they just like threw well, shit in the well, air. They didn't, like, oh, they they didn't want to put all chick, the blondes on one chick. show. Well, hold on. They had the goth chick, the blonde chick, and the the fighter chick show up on Raw, and then on SmackDown, the same thing happened. Yeah, I know. It's but late. it was a. Di- I thought when I saw the picture, I'm like, oh, they're on both. Oh no, that's three different people. I thought what it would have been interesting doing? if they had acknowledged each other, like like Paige sent them to SmackDown to to like represent her and like try to make yes. Paige a bigger deal. That was but a rumor. Was- 
but it's just but it's yeah. literally just we just did the same thing because yeah. apparently yeah. people don't watch both shows and that's, they won't be confused by that but that's way too many people <laughs> that nobody knows coming up yeah, to the main true. roster that's terrible i do i do really like uh ruby riot a lot i her mm-hmm. look is really unique and i haven't seen a lot from her but i know from friends who watch indie wrestling more than i do they said she's awesome so yeah, she's i'm fine. definitely i'm worth i'm i'm waiting like to page, so. No, see, I think they fucked up on Paige big time. Because Paige is getting zero reaction. That beatdown, uh, I watched that one of the few Raws I watched, where she came out with the beatdown Sa- Sasha. Dude, Yes, crickets. that was, it Nobody, was crickets, yes. It was. Well, Nobody she came, came out, and, like, the, the reaction was big for her coming back in. And she just kind of blazzered on a useless yeah, promo, she, God, she seems making like silly faces and sticking like, her tongue out. It's like, she what? seriously seems like she's doing drugs. <laughs> yeah. like, no, she, she acted, really? I mean, I know she debuted when she was like 21. She seems like she's still 21. Yeah, like, right. she's not matured at all. Dude, and it's dude, like, ah, a, I'm, like, I'm an evil a, person. Uh, Stick my tongue out. Look at me. Though. I'm a rebel. No. She had a new pick leak, though. That was pretty good. Yeah, she should, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Xavier, um, those woods. She, they, you know, the only thing I'm looking forward to is one, because eventually she's going to go for the title, and I can't wait for her to cut a promo saying how badly she wants to win that title so she can lick Brad Maddox's jizz off of it. That would be good. That would be a good promo. That would be a good promo. promo. I yeah. honestly, without saying Brad Maddox, I can see her taking someone's title and licking it. Yeah, well, oh, she's, God. You know, she's, not, uh, she's not hanging around with Rico Suave anymore. Or Dude, whatever the fuck that's it. true. Alberto's uh, restaurant got closed down. Yep. <laughs> Also, Somebody drove by and took a picture. It's boarded up. <laughs> also, he has said that he is very upset with the way wrestling is so negative. He's going to finish out 2018 and probably retire in 2019. Good. Get the fuck out of here. Although oh, I yeah. guarantee you he's lying. I mean, I... Oh, yeah. He'll never retire. I don't like but, him, but I can I mean, it's pretty how negative. The, how the fuck, like... Oh, how the yeah. fuck is DNA sucking his dick so dry? So dry. They That's What they released, like... They released like that. Uh, what was it like a like a call to investors or something? And like their entire their entire like goal is what can we do for Alberto? Like what the yeah. fuck? What man? can we do for this junkie? He's fucking nobody. He's a nobody. Like a- ask any general wrestling fan. He's a fucking nobody. He didn't do anything that anybody will ever remember ten years from now. Well, I mean, I would. no 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 no. The I intro would. with the. Uh... The guy who yelled into the microphone, Ricardo. I don't think anybody cares. Ricardo, no, no people love fucking the intro. I mean, Ricardo this Rodriguez. Is no one who remembers that shit was bit. that shit I was remember, super over. I remember, I remember his remember. match, the street fight with Big Show, where he flipped the table. Yeah. I remember that. I remember he won the only mm. ever forty man Royal Rumble. No, and he see, I think us? I think Santino uh, overshadowed his win big time because Santino's moment was oh the yeah. Moment, I made but... that. I, I but so I, I remember little he, bits here just, and there. He's but... not he's not worth putting your entire company behind. Not only no, has he I shown mean, that he's unstable he's mentally, that, but it's not the same thing. Uh, you know what? Hey, hey, everybody talking over each other. Calm down. I'll say one thing. I'll say one thing. At least he is a, he's a bigger and better star than Kofi Kingston. So that's good. Oh yeah, my there you God. Go. I like fuck? Kofi. So I had to laugh because they actually posted uh, like a flashback thing, and they put up that Jericho versus Kofi match for the IC title we were talking uh, about. Uh, they all full match available. Come watch this. I'm like, are they watching us? What? No, <laughs> no. D- no don't worry, Bomber. I, I really like I really like Kofi too. He's a really nice boy. He's so <laughs> polite. He's a good he's a really nice boy. <laughs> no, no, we uh, we actually haven't had a show since this huge uh, blow up on Twitter about Kofi Kingston. Uh, what I believe, what was the whole thing, Matt? What well, started not from the of main event? He doesn't, he doesn't matter. He doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. A, that's an. Today is the only reason that he uh, he will go down in history as anything important in WWE. Exactly. So. I have no idea what Twitter thing you're talking about. Uh, well, I know there was a Matt said something on the one of the last podcasts that said. He just said that Kofi Kingston didn't matter, and I was like, "Wait, I mean, the whole thing Kofi's, sparked." From, now Kofi's great. The whole thing sparked. I'd from say it wasn't great. At, then F five, and we were it talking about count people, in the same breath as the others. We were talking about people who should kick out of the F five for some reason. I don't know if Matt thought that I was arguing he should have kicked out an F five, but I never once said that. But either way, somehow it sparked from Kofi took an F five, one F five, and got beat. And it sparked into Zion saying that Kofi just doesn't matter, and I'm like, yeah, that's not he that's no again in that context. Now, he doesn't. That that's exactly it. The, you're presuming it like at all. 
I took it as in the context of guys who should no, take no, out. No, but then oh, Zion, he no, emphasized no, no, at all. No, Rami, he has has double, at all. Rami has I know doubled the word down Jobber on up. Kofi Kingston not mattering in any way, yes, shape, or form. Yeah, correct. No, yeah. I know Jobber came up as well. It's like, yeah, in context. <laughs> he's, yes, yeah. he said he's a he's a no, nobody Jobber. I'm like, no, yeah. th- what? Yeah, by himself, he doesn't matter. As the New Day is the only thing he's Man. done that will people will remember him for. And just uh, the only thing to look <laughs> at is, yeah, no, he's a multi-time not, IC true. champion, multi-time US champion. He could never get elevated up. If it was a glass ceiling, whatever it is, but he never did, and that's it. So this yeah. has been a better that's success it. than anything else he's ever done. He is a main eventer right now. and uh, No, he's not. His no, team he is. is. He's not a main eventer he at is? all. No. Not, and when is the last time one of them main evented anything? I, the Raw, I, I mean, the SmackDown I went to, they were in the main event. Yeah, no, no, no. His no, team no, no. Is... Individually, individually have any of them main event. What does it matter team? if he's an individual? Because then that's a main event tour, not a main event team. Main event tour is one tour. person. You know it's a big yeah. difference. It is. And, and, and the team difference. is a special attraction but, at this point. They're not no, main see, event. Let's get that straight. Wow, Come you on. guys are completely discredited. That, that's the thing that I was saying. You guys no, I'm not. Are completely discrediting. <laughs> yes. No. No, As we're discrediting team, it in a certain each context. Each one of them, big difference each on one of them a solo main event guy. I, I, just, I just think saying he doesn't matter at all and has no impact is like saying like Holly Blanchard has no matter. It doesn't matter at all. Has no impact. Bugs uh, it bugs me because you're fucking wrong. That's what bugs Holly <laughs> Blanchard actually held a significant singles title in his career. Oh my god! And so it actually had it actually had, had real title runs. Consider on this bomber. Holly Blanchard was a, was a world champion. Here, Rab, here's one thing. No, he was North America. No, he wasn't. Oh, that's right. He wasn't. Of course not. Bomber, the my, last time Kofi he was, had he was the fourth guy on a, on a group. Guys, he, held, he held the number two hey. title in, in the promotion back in the day. We're all talking over each other again. Careful. The last time that Kofi had a significant main event feud was 2009 against Randy Orton. Yeah, and I that's said fine. that was where yeah. Orton literally called him a fucking moron in the ring, and that was his push that's tie. Fine. That's fine. He's he's in the main event right now. Whether or not he's a team or not, he's in the main event. He's so you're group. saying Xavier Woods is a main eventer? Right now, yes. Yes, he is. No, he's, the <laughs> New Day is a main event team. Yeah, the New Day okay. so, that is different. Absolutely different. They each contribute to the team. I don't understand right. where we're no, uh, getting lost. No disputing that. Absolutely not disputing that. I'm. I want to confused. tell Rap one Kingston other. Kingston of his own accord is not main event. Let me Ambrose, tell Rap Rollins one other and arguments. Reigns are, and the Shield, but not the, not the New Day guys solo. Not well. That, that is. I will say that is one thing that kind of hurt their match versus the Shield. All three Shield guys are main event guys, and the Shield and, uh, and the um, New Day are not. So, I mean, they did, it kind of looked weird at first. I had to get used to the fact that we had the New Day versus the Shield. Because, like, I'm like, wouldn't the, the, the Shield just fucking mow these guys down? But, like, Why? they they're won not... me over with a good match. Mm. But they're not on the same level. That was their the first Shield. time teaming together, though, in, like, forever. Why would they be the favorites in the match? New Day's been teaming together forever. Because all three are main event guys. World <laughs> champion main eventers. Yeah. No, there That's used to be. I, I know what he said. The New Day are five champs. There used That's to be this point. idea no. back in the day. That a solid a, a top team could beat top random guys that were just thrown together, but that's not how that works anymore. True. Well, they're not random too, but they haven't. They they were together. They were a unit before. But yeah, I know. It, yeah, that's that's true. That's exactly what I'm saying as well. But um, man, guys that have been the multi-time champions, they have the record for the all the for the longest title reign. As a unit, they should beat these guys that haven't teamed up in a long time. Bottom line. Yeah, no, that's I, just, I, I get you. Sure. That's, okay. that's a very fair. So and to I me, no New Day had the advantage coming into the match. No, they definitely I, didn't. No. No. <laughs> they were Roman, <laughs> Roman Rons has made events three you think about it, in a row. When you think about it as far as like non-kayfabe, yeah, of course. No, but look at how it. they presented it. The Shield is a unit that cannot be defeated. They are yeah. going to run roughshod on everything. Now they're fighting New Day. New Day. Could, That's could how they presented it. Braun, like, no. <laughs> no. New Day would get fucking destroyed by Braun. So, yeah. That's... Just like Brock did. Yeah, come on now. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> uh, Okay, one of my other points, though. Last thing on Kofi. One of my points that I made was I felt like every time they gave Kofi one of the mid-card titles, either US or the IC, it degraded immensely. Because, like, that was usually when he's a placeholder. They just gave it to him, and they never had a plan, and it always just kind of deteriorated. So I kind of blame him for the start and stop pushes they kept giving to the United States and IC titles. So that's why another reason why I don't really respect him that's outside of me. From my perspective on it, it was kind of almost like you see him have the title again and again, 
And I would look back on different eras of him having the belt. I'm like, did which one was this? Oh, he had it three yeah. different times. Yeah, it all blended together. Exactly. And it's I didn't see it him devaluing it, but he never rose to it. Yeah, for like sure. Like, he, he got the chance so many times to elevate I, that I thing. disagree with that entirely. I just don't think there was anything for him to rise to. Yeah, he might. Well, he right, never he rose might, above I don't think he, did, he didn't rise to the title. I think he got no, no. the title, and the titles weren't important when he got them. Forgive me. He That's didn't true, try to. Well. He didn't rise. He didn't above elevate the station them. Is what you're of saying. Where he was exactly. Yeah, like Cody was able. Right, to do okay. That. I, and I, I would agree with that. Yeah, he wasn't yeah. able to move himself up with well, it. I would agree that he and did he not had elevate like the title. Eight chances. Well, then again, different... neither did Ambrose. Neither Ambrose didn't uh, elevate the title as well. Ambrose, also, we've had, we've only had main like, event position with the title. What are you talking about? He main evented uh, Roadblock it, it, with it, Triple it, H. Everybody, it, we've said multiple times on this show that he got it from The Miz and devalued the title. The Miz got yeah, it back. The Miz true. elevated the title. Does yeah. that mean that fucking Ambrose is a piece of shit? That if you're thinking about it the no. same way. No, because it's mean, more than feet. just one specific thing, Bomber. You're you're trying to take one little bit and make it be the whole thing. I mean, thing. I could anger you though. He is easily the weakest member of the Shield by far. Like, if uh, I think him who do we lose? Him and Rollins <laughs> are about even. I, I don't think obviously Reigns I don't is well, like Rollins well above much, him. I admit. Yeah. No, I think him and Rollins are even, if not slightly ahead of Rollins. I, I have no doubt about that. We lost Ram. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, we, we angered him That's with fine. the Kofi talk. <laughs> just... uh, but I'm glad, yeah, at the end of the day, I'm glad we can all agree that Kofi is indeed a nothing. Okay, good. Yeah, there we go. Move on. Oh, okay. so, yeah, Rab leaves. And, yeah. Good but, day, uh, sir. No, I'm glad at least Rab was kind of on my side there. That That's incorrect statement. And, um, no, and Palmer, how many times do I have to say it? I'm with you, too. He's not a jobber. He's not a nothing. He's just not the same as these other ones we were comparing him to. Well, that's all it is. And I never once said he was. Uh, uh, correct. No, I but you're said, trying to say, oh, I'm, I'm devaluing him. No. I'm, I'm just not saying I, he's up there in the same breath. All I say, I'm not the biggest Kofi can, fan. I've I've never hid that once. But when somebody tries to discredit something that he's done, God, it just I seems kind of shitty. It's like personally, which I don't understand. I know. that's. I just hate when people fucking discredit people that just know whether I like them or not. Because I know Zion, you fucking love it. You goddamn troll. I know you love it. But Yo, everything you just said makes me laugh. And the thing that sucks is Daniel I'm not even a... Ryan. I'm not even a big Kofi fan. That's the thing. But everything you said, I hate when people discredit others. But man, some of Daniel Bryan just sticks in your craw when he's achieved more than Kofi ever has. I won't say ever will, but ever has. I mean, hey, who's excited for a change of topic? Who's excited for? I am Brian so excited right now, dude. I'm. I, I said I will buy a new Japan <laughs> go pay per view if no. he if he's on it. So uh, I, I, definitely going to order might. Jericho and Omega though. Also, so that should be that should be pretty. I don't fun. know if he's going to be down to. I don't think he wants to go to like New Japan though. No, he yeah, totally. No, Brian... So I listened to I listened to him. He did an interview with Sam Roberts, and I did too. Yeah. Every time, <laughs> every time he mentioned like New Japan or independent wrestling, like he had this big explanation where he's like, "Oh, if I do that." Then, like, I only have to wrestle, like, maybe 80 matches a year or something. Like, I, I can pick and choose, blah, blah, blah. And then all of a sudden, he remembered what, like, there's he's with WWE. He goes, but let me make it clear, though. I would only want to wrestle for WWE if they let me. And I'm like, come on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you just, yeah. Oh, why, yeah. why, Rab just said, is it over? Why, <laughs> did he left and then? <laughs> I don't, I uh, I don't know. I'll add him back to the call. I he might have got dropped. He he didn't leave. So okay. Mm. But yeah, I mean, like you can tell that he is so excited to have a lighter schedule and get to travel around the world again. Oh, and dude, they... he's gonna make top dollar too. He will yeah. be the highest paid independent wrestler of all time. They he so want him too. They so oh, fucking yeah. want him. You well, know, Cody this. wants him for that ten thousand seat oh. independent show. They're oh, doing. Cody wants anything that's gonna make his career look good at this point. Yep. That fucking loser. Why is he a loser? Oh, He's great. God. Nope. Cody is not great. Oh. What? No, I have you seen I, a I good match signing... from him since he yeah, broke he's off? Yeah, he had some good stuff. Nope. I, he had a really good match with Kurt Angle in what culture? I'm signing yeah, with Lee Kurt on Angle. this one. I'm, sorry, I'm I'm with Lee on this one. I I am not saying wow. Cody's bad at all. I I'm pretty sure I've even said this before. Not saying Cody's bad at all, but he is not great. I am I'm with I, Lee on like, this one. He's like, not, he's not the American nightmare. He's not the American dream. He's the American terrible I, nap. Literally just bought <laughs> one of his shirts at Hot Topic because I was I was out of oh shirts. I didn't want to do my thing. So I well no, I wanted the season to cool one. Shirt. 
But they didn't have uh, they didn't have the in my size because I'm fat as fuck. Uh, he, uh, but yeah, I got no, him and Kenny Omega. No, he's, Matt. He for your podcast, up. this is important. Have you folded that shirt? Have you hung it up yet? <laughs> I hung it up. Good. Yeah. Uh, no. Yeah. Um, his shirts are pretty cool. Though. I, I have a friend that isn't even really big into wrestling that bought the Cody Rhodes Bullet Club shirt. The American. Yeah, yeah. You know, all, all the power to Cody. He, he latched on to the coolest gimmick out there and then got some fame off it. You know, but I mean, his matches are just they're they're passable to dog shit. They're missing something. I, I agree. I they're missing a good. They're, they're missing a good worker. No, no they're not. <laughs> I wouldn't, they're not I wouldn't dog say shit. that. They're not. But... They're not dog shit. They're not. I would. Shit. I think I do agree with you that uh, he oh, is not. Oh, did more... you see the? Did you see what? the match between him and Minoru Suzuki on ROH? No, that was dog shit. That was All terrible. Right. I was gonna say though, I think uh, Dustin's a far better wrestler than Cody. Oh is. yeah, he's totally a way better wrestler. Yeah, he's, he's, of, he's he's fantastic. The natural Dustin Rhodes at Starcade. They call him the natural. Yeah, yeah that was fun to watch. That gimmick, that was pretty cool. Or uh, yeah. Dash and or Dawson. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was, whoever it was. It was it Dawson? Dude, I totally forgot about them. That's gonna yeah. be great when they finally get back and actually don't get injured every five seconds. Right. If they get injured one more time, they're pretty much. They're done. done. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they're, they're done. done. Yeah. Oh yeah. They won't we'll just talk to them again. They're yeah. not gonna get dominate or dominate. Are they're not going to dominate when they come back though? They're gonna have to to go through the trials because I bet you Vince probably is like, fuck these guys. No. Uh, just. just but real quick, uh, before we get off, Cody. No, he uh, he's got he's got a good he's got a good look for an indie guy. He does have a good look. Um, he get he's over with the fans. He's got the cool gimmick. He does have he's got like he's got like that feel and that look. But he that is aura? not a great wrestler. I 100 percent agree with Lee on that. I don't think he's bad. I don't know if you said he's bad or not. Con- but considering I don't think this, he's bad. I just think he's he's he's, he's average. He underperforms. He's an he underperforms average wrestler. constantly. He's an if average he... wrestler. Had won that money in the bank instead of Damian Sandow and cashed it in for a world title, I would have had no problem with it. I would have. I would have. No, I don't. I, I like no, him. because it would have worked. It would have worked. But, but looking at it now, I'm like, uh, like there's something missing. He just he hasn't quite captured that know, last I think, bit. I think he's so. losing the world title, the Ring of Honor, the next Ring of Honor show. By the way, I just want to point that out. Who's he facing? I, I hope. He, I hope so. Dalton Castle. I think he's uh, losing that title. But, oh man, I'd I'd sooner put the fucking belt in Dalton Castle than keep it on Cody. But, Jesus, um, I don't know, but I don't want to get sidetracked because a lot of people don't watch Ring of Honor. But uh, anyway, um, just real quick before we get out of here, just a couple things people mentioned on Twitter, uh, and then we'll head out. Uh, somebody want to know any uh possible uh, GM Woody want to know potential <laughs> surprise Rumble entrance? You guys, I mean, it's kind of we're coming up on the Rumble. Any uh mm. potential surprise entrance this year? You guys think of? Who's really a surprise anymore, unless it's up from the NXT roster? Yeah, I don't know. Honestly, don't know. the biggest surprise would be Kenny Omega, and that's not happening. No. Yeah, I biggest, am, That would be the big would one. Be, uh, would be a good rumble, because the last two have been fucking horrible. So. Yeah. <laughs> you, know who I think, you know who I think might actually come back? Uh, I think you might see Goldberg, because I, no. I have a feeling that they yeah. would try to get him into a, a Mania match. So like having him come out again would be as a surprise would be a pretty cool thing to see. I could see that. That'd be cool. I wonder if they'll let Jake the Snake have one. He's been uh, wanting that for like five years. I don't know. He's I, I I think I think I think he's too much of a risk at this point. Well, he's old. As, he's old as shit, but he still works matches once in a while. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, it would be a really nice thing for him. But I mean, he kind of already got his his right. uh, send off moment from them. So, eh, I don't know. But I, uh, see, I wouldn't be surprised by that one. Yeah. If, so if Goldberg does come back, who would you want to see him go at it with at Mania? Oh fuck! Um, my uh, my brain just went. I still drawn. want him and Cena, man. I want no, Cena, I want yes. Goldberg and Cena. God damn it! That doesn't even have to be like a like long ass match. It would just get a great reaction from the fans to see mm-hmm. these two like icons of their time go at it. It kind of would, but I I don't I, I unfortunately they, don't. I'm not big on it. I I, I, I I loved what uh, Goldberg did when he was there, but when he came back last time, but not with it. Hey, Rab, Rab just jumped back in. Yeah, I lost internet. Oh, oh okay. okay. Oh shit. Well, he's back. Uh, we're just talking about surprise possible Rumble entrance. That uh, we're going yeah. to the questions on Twitter before we wrap up here. Um, uh, somebody uh, brought up very Goldberg. What, uh, of me. I, I think Zion brought up Goldberg yeah. as a surprise entrant possible. Um, I think it would be fun to have him out. Uh, one thing I wanted to ask though, if you did, you guys watch the Kevin Owens? Uh, was it three sixty five? I did not know. That was, yeah, it was fucking. Awesome. That was fucking awesome, man. That was, was really, so really cool. Good. The insight they gave to how crazy Vince is was amazing. So one of the things that went down, one of the most memorable parts was 
Um, he did go into his whole title run with Goldberg and being, you can tell he it ate him alive that he didn't get to properly have a match to lose the belt. Sure, and right. he also, he also was pissed off that him and Jericho didn't main event for the title. Mm-hmm. So, uh, he has the match with Jericho and he comes backstage after it's over and he, I guess like a lot of the wrestlers do this, which I, I think is weird that they don't wait until after the show, but the mania is still going and Owens walks up to Vince and he's like, how did you like it? Like, was that good? And Vince goes, no. And then Owens just kind of stands there and looks like a sad puppy dog. Like, Vince was pissed. He didn't like their match. Well, no, he asked again. He was like, no. Yeah, he's, no. Vince was like, no. Yeah. Wait, is there footage look of this? Yes, yes. It's on the 365, man. It's intense. Oh, this was great. Dude, Vince Vince like wouldn't look at him or talk to him after mm-hmm. that. <laughs> that was, Holy but then, fuck. But then they went uh, they went through the, the couple matches with AJ and how they were dog shit, too. And then the SummerSlam match that they had, which I personally, yeah, it wasn't that great. Um, but then he it ends it with he goes up to Vince and Vince shakes his hand and goes that's exactly what we were looking for thank you. And like, the weirdest part of it though is Owen said during all those matches he was never sure, so he doesn't know the difference in the Jericho match and the AJ match. It's like what did I do different? I don't I don't get it. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. It's, that's so weird. weird. No, that's not true because he said on on three sixty five that he felt something was missing from the Jericho match. Oh, he did. Oh, okay, okay. Now, he said uh, he thinks that a lot of that is the fact that they weren't going for the title. And instead, they were going for, you know, the U.S. title. Yeah, the U.S. title. Mm. Yeah. I will agree that that, ma- that match, I think we can all agree it was a letdown a little bit. It was a letdown, yeah. yeah. I-, I still like it for what it is, but all yeah, the only okay. thing anybody will remember from that match in, yep. like, 50 years is the, the finger. That's, that's it. The finger. The finger was yeah. the, literally, that's, literally, that's it. That's it. Yeah, and that sucks considering how much what? heat they had going into that, that Drew, feud. Because yeah. that, that, that a fucking line, amazing segment. That was the storyline of the year. Yeah, that segment was awesome with the yeah. whole the list reveal. Like that was that was great. That's but watch, really watch, go back and watch the three sixty five. I'm telling you, it was worth it. That, yeah. it. Great insight. Like, have they done uh, anybody else besides him for that? No, he's the only one. Apparently, they're doing an AJ one now. Okay, yep. well, I'm I'm all in now because I usually I don't like WWE's overly produced crap. Like, I actually think that one of the reasons why I don't like wrestling so much is one, there's so much of it, and also it's just so fucking overproduced. It doesn't feel natural anymore. But this was super natural. I had like cool. having Vince in that moment. I was like, "Holy shit, I felt so bad for <laughs> Kevin Owens." Well, you mean like, you mean oh. Undertaker supernatural? There you go. <laughs> or the TV show where the two dudes are there's fan art and they they fuck oh, yeah. stuff. We're so hot and we're fighting demons. <laughs> we're know. so hot and we're fucking. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, let's uh, let's uh, move on here a little bit. Yeah. Another question any- from uh, Redhead Twelve. Real quick. Oh, Real quick, yeah. before we move, did anyone see the uh, the Ric Flair thirty for thirty? I did. Not. Yeah. God damn it, oh, no, I want to see that still. It was, I'm it behind was, on it was all okay. these. It was all right. It was, you know, it's it's mostly stuff everyone already knew, but it was pretty good. It some was lies. Well I liked it a lot. Yeah, there's there's some lies, but it you know it pulls at the heartstrings and shit. It's pretty good. Oh, it was well directed. Oh, well, that's interesting because we had the director on uh, my show um, before it aired, the day before it aired. I just want to point that out there. Were you cool. were you insinu- or were you insinuating your talent rubbed off on him or something like I think that? Who said it? No, who said it was well directed? You? I didn't. <laughs> oh, okay. Rab- Rab- I didn't, I didn't hear that. I'm like, yeah. what is Palmer going on about? Yeah. We mentioned this last time, by the way, as well. That and it, I knew that he was on your Rab show because you told Rab- us that last Rab- time. Rab wasn't here. Rab wasn't here last show. The listeners were here. So now he knows. But anyway, um, <laughs> but no, yeah, I'm, I'm behind was- on all those things. I need to watch. I need to watch a lot of stuff. Catch up on that. Uh, but I really want to. Um, so. Moving on real quick, we got Redhead12. He wanted to know, this is a little bit of a different one, who are the better brothers, Matt and Jeff, Rick and Scott, the Bludgeon Brothers, the Bash Brothers, Mighty Ducks, or the Mario Brothers? Uh, Lee, who you got? Mulkey Brothers. The who? The Mulkey Brothers. Who the hell are the Mulkey Brothers? That they, were these, uh, they were these skinny albino jobbers with no bodies back in the NWA days. Well, there you go. <laughs> I thought I recognized that name. I didn't know who Rab's saying. Rab, who you got? Who the best brothers? I mean, how do we define best? Just, just at what? Just who best are the better? Plumbing? Just, It'd just... be the Mario Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> There yeah. you go. I'm with Rab. Rab oh. wins. Rab wins. All right. We'll yeah, move, moving we on here. can argue any of that. Oh. No, moving on here. Um, let's see. Uh, we kind of already covered that one. Somebody wanted to know about the Mojo Raleigh. Somebody wanted to know about Broken Matt Hardy gimmick. Um, oh, uh, so the schedule came out for WWE about next year's pay-per-views, and Thomas Bingston wants to know, 
Uh, thoughts on Money in the Bank being a possible Big Five now, since both brands, maybe WWE is going to be leaning towards Big Five instead of a Big Four. No, oh, that's too. That's too uh, Money in the Bank matches too many. Yeah, no, I heard they wanted to combine that and have a Raw and a SmackDown again. So, do you guys think they would move that. it to? A I mean, big we used five? to we, we had a Big Five for a long time. I've got no yeah, problem. King of the Ring. Big five. Well, Wait, honestly, what if, what if they mix it? What if it's brand? There's a couple guys from each brand. And then the guy who wins can, you know, he, he can switch brands. He can challenge the champion for the other yeah, brand. Yeah, that's how it used to be. That'd be great. Yeah. Well, honestly, I don't like the pay-per-views trading every year. That's just weird. Uh, that's just me. But, yeah, make it uh, all the guys for the money in the bank. It's oh, it's yeah. a chance of a lifetime only yeah. for SmackDown. Except it's Raw next year. And, and it could be that's... some interesting things where, like, if they mix uh, the guys into the one match, then you have, like temporary alliances where the raw guys are teaming up against the smackdown guys and then like well you know they still want to win though so right yeah, just fun couldn't be for fun story yeah, I mean, they'll fuck it up you, though so it's, it's <laughs> a rumbly type thing those are always fun i think yeah. you want to do what you used to be able to do with survivor series you want to make future storylines where all these guys interact usually don't interact for most of the year and then you get little stories out of that you know you, you can plant little seeds here and there like oh uh, fucking Dean Ambrose bumped into fucking what's his face, and maybe they'll face off no, down. Oh, not what's his face. Later. No, what's his face? <laughs> what's I can't his even. Face. I can't even. Th- I can't even think of anyone who hasn't wrestled another From person on the unknown. fucking roster at this point. That's yeah. how sad it is. I, I mean, if I had it my way, I still think that Mania should be the only time where they do cross promotional matches because then it would yep. make it like extra special. But they're not going to do that. All right. Well, yeah, because only right now is just Survivor Series, so. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I mean that that kind of makes sense because I mean it's just it's built for that type of like yeah, yeah, that match. Five battle, yeah. yeah, that's true. Yeah, but uh, I guess that's it. We're uh, we're gonna head out of here now. Anybody got any last words? Any last comments? Something they're looking forward to? Any last words? That's ominous. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus Christ! Right. Yeah. Oh, any I last just, words? Yeah, we're done. We're heading out. Anybody want to you know uh, say uh, before they die? I do have fuck? something. Uh, here we go, guys. Uh, my girlfriend just left to go to work. Um, and she opened the door and. There were two little packages out there, guys. This is going back to drop mix. The two <laughs> little packages. Have their house? I'm the opening fuck? up right now. This is the Wait, unboxing. How long were those there then? They were there. I don't know. I'm looking at. Oh, man. It's like the size <laughs> of an album. What the fuck is wrong with you? I got Oh, my uh, God. You didn't even the... look to check. Why didn't you check your mail? Well, no. They were outside the door. I, the other one was outside the door, too. Maybe it was on the other side. I don't know. I didn't see it. Oh my are, God! Either are way, you afraid, are you afraid of your neighbors or something? Do you is that why you don't leave your house? No. Nope. Like, what the fuck? I got the pop in the rock uh, playlist, the guys. Pop for in the rock. Oh, God. I got the pop <laughs> in the rock. Oh, tomorrow, rap, you're back just the time. You're tomorrow, back just I'm gonna time. get the hip hop playlist. Yes. <laughs> yes. So yeah, war games. You mean, was pretty you good, mean guys. today? Yeah, war you games. Mean to, you mean today? You're gonna get sorry. The yes. War by the time you're listening, today is today's the first of December. Games might be annually. Do you hear that? Yeah, as long as they don't do the War Games match anymore, that'd be fun because that well, wasn't very good. But no, the War Games uh, match was what? good. The War Games match. match was good. It was. Good. I hated it. I hated it. Uh, I, 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 Wait, I, why the only you thing hate I like. You're my least favorite I, Canadian. The only. Well, that's fine. You only know two. The only <laughs> thing I. The, the only thing I really liked on that fucking uh, pay per view actually was Velveteen Dream and Alistair Black. I thought oh, that was fuck, pretty that awesome. Was good. That was good. Uh, but uh, just real quick though, why did you not like the <laughs> War Games match? I didn't like the changes in rules. I didn't like the. I thought. I thought having three teams in there kind of sucked. Um, not a big Paul Ellering fan. Anytime I see him around anything, I just kind of hate it. And <laughs> yeah, I, I, I didn't re- honestly. I don't really care about anyone who was involved in it. No, I think it makes I, sense. I think it makes sense. No. You don't like it though, because you're you're one of the only ones here that's like hardcore on. You've seen all the other ones and stuff. So like you're them changing it up a little bit. I can it, see it's uh, like old listen, grouchy man yeah, saying I mean, get I, off my I, lawn. I, I, I assumed. Listen, it, it wasn't a terrible match, but it's just it just wasn't war games. I thought it was I assume that's what your um, problem with it was going to be, which the, I totally that's the new age war games. That's yeah, the problem. Sucks. We're bringing war games back. Oh, and, I also, then, and then here comes the match. We're changing it. Oh. Well, I like well, I like how it was actually the wrestlers that went to Triple H and asked for no uh, top to the cage so they could do more stuff. So yeah, yeah. I, I heard cool that he did that. Vince didn't like it. They should all be fired. No, I, well, from one, <laughs> what it was Melter was talking about, he said it was a it was a wrestler's that makes more sense. Call. So. Vince doesn't. From what I know, Vince has zero 
say in NXT unless like there's something he wants or something but like for the most part he just leaves it alone and that's why it's so yeah, awesome it's not, it's not even that he has zero say he just couldn't care he just, he, just he, chooses, yeah. no shit. he chooses not to interfere essentially he just destroys Smackdown and Raw over and over again but that show was a shocker though I did not see uh, McIntyre losing the title that was a shock to me oh I, man and out, was for, very out for six months Ugh. Yeah, yep. uh, he luck. was about to get called up that's he was luck. that, that, sucks, that spot man. with the chick on the apron though that was pretty awesome yeah. Oh yeah, that was really cool. There's a lot of really, but, you know, I really, really like. I, I was gonna. That's funny because I was gonna suggest anybody that missed the uh, War Games match to go watch it, but I don't know. I guess uh, no. I Lee would, does not. Uh, okay, that. unless you have, un- unless you are very, very particular about the War Game. Yeah, rules. the rules. Yeah, the old it's, it was rules, awesome. Yeah. And, it was more the end of WCW. I, I totally, they had three I, team ones, right? So, I totally yeah. get that as a problem like if you go in there you're expecting more games and what you got instead was a double cage match you know you know what i liked I really get... about it about the outcome the fallout from that show um everybody there obviously there was blood if you didn't see it there was some blood there was some uh hard mm-hmm. I, I they say it was hard way blood i don't i mean probably no, it was definitely hard way 100 percent. yeah either way yeah no he banged his head on the pole yes yeah. either way hard way blood yes he was busted open and we haven't seen blood in the WWE and, and or, you know, you know what I mean? And so long that the fallout was like everybody was so concerned. It felt so good to see everybody. Oh, my God. He he could be devastated. This match is too brutal. Like, I um, mean, back in the day, Kevin that stuff. Headbutt Vince and make him bleed. Yeah. I mean, it's seriously. been so long, though. No, I'm like this is real. I, say, I feel like we saw blood recently. This is real deal blood, though. I'm talking real deal. Blood. Yeah, that was that, was that was small little. I mean, it's, it's it's like when we saw it's like when we saw CM Punk and 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 Cena, and there was a pile driver in the match, and we were all like, "Oh my god, a pile if, driver!" Right, if you want to bring that up, though, the thing with uh, Vince, it was the same deal. Oh, headbutts! That should be that should that's too dangerous. Like. Because I think yeah. the use the of blood uh, in the war games match was an accident because he fucking hit his head. The, the was on purpose. And people like thought it the match was like too fucking brutal. That's, right. I love that. That's good because it was because he yeah, accidentally hit his head and bled. I loved the the German <laughs> suit. That wasn't planned through the, through the tables. Correct. That was I know fucking it wasn't brutal. Why are you freaking out? I know it wasn't. I'm just saying. Like no, I, I like loved... oh, it made the match better because it was unpredictable. Yep. I didn't, 100%. I, didn't say it made didn't any, I didn't say it made any match better. I said I love the feel that he, people He just said he that. enjoyed it, I think. No, so, I, no, no. I'm saying the feel, the f- reaction from the fans. Oh, we're I, getting back to auras again. Yeah, right? the aura. Yeah. <laughs> the aura return. There you go. Okay, Randy well. Aura. T- <laughs> <laughs> um, but it That's was really the name good of the podcast. I, I, I get it. Yeah. Why, like, why they haven't been doing WCW gimmick stuff uh, when they own the fucking company I, is beyond me. Just because Vince is like, oh, fuck that. Like this was it was great. The so the people like some. I bet you they got some WCW fans to watch that that weren't watching the product. Well, they when definitely they heard probably did. Oh God! This when they announced it, the NXT taping, the crowd goes ape shit when Regal mm-hmm. says War Games. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like they 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 know even if they weren't fans, they yeah. know what the fuck that is. That's now, a thing. Oh, three, 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 God damn it! <laughs> yeah, I want my three ring battle royal. It sucks. Yeah. I don't want to see it Let's every go. year, but I want to I want to see it. Again yeah, every once in a while. Every once in a while, would yeah. be really fun. Bring back the Thunderdome every year. It's oh, going to happen God. forever now. We don't. We don't. There's there's no moderation in the WWE. That is it's true. Just, but in NXT, there might be though. That's the difference. You remember when Hell in a Cell was like they would mention it, and you'd go, "Holy oh, shit, yeah, Hell in a Cell!" Yeah, yeah. And now it's just another thing. Like it's just now yeah. it's just October. But yeah, Triple true. H is in charge of NXT, so it might be a little different. You're right. I mean, it's true. Like I, I think every couple of years would be perfect for yeah. bringing that back. Yeah, yeah, that'd be really cool. I like it. Um, by the way, here's a little quick spoiler out there, uh, NXT fans. Whether you care or not, I don't know. I'm gonna let some spoilers out if you don't want to hear it. Just turn the podcast off right now because this is the end of the and show. And never okay. turn it back on. There you go. <laughs> uh, until the next episode. But um, yeah, Kurt Angle titty fucked Roderick Strong. <laughs> that wow, also happened. That. Nobody yes. saw that. I thought, was, I thought it was uh, Ono. Well, I guess I guess we did see it coming. Roderick Strong saw him coming. So. Yeah, yes, right. In the face. <laughs> um, that, that, there's a lot of coming going on with NXT. You got the titles. You got uh, anyway. First of all, we got Undisputed Era are the new tag team champions. That's the oh, first okay. thing. I didn't know that. Yep, O'Reilly Fish, and Fish. Kyle O'Reilly. Yep, they perfect. They won the titles from Sanity. Um, okay. Also, they had a these like this just happened like last night or whatever it was. They had yeah. uh, a bunch of tapings. John uh, Johnny Gargano. Somehow, after losing match after match after match, 
is he won a series of matches that are going to air over weeks of NXT, <laughs> and he is going to be the number one contender for the championship. That's good, That's good call. Yeah, so, for uh, Philly. So, the, so Champa can Champa yeah. can come out and cost him the match. Right. That's about right for timing. Yep. So yeah. that's uh, that's what we're going to be looking forward to coming up. So um, cool. That yeah, and NXT be a lot is always solid. NXT is always good fun, stuff. Yeah. I thought Alistair Black was probably going to be the next oh, one to challenge, but he's four way. He was in he lost it. to Gargano. Wow. Oh, really? Okay. Damn. So it was Lars gonna... Sullivan. Uh, it was Lars Sullivan. Alistair well, yeah. Black. Rewind that. They had qualifying matches to get to the four way match. Yes, they each had qualifying yeah, matches, so, and Alistair like Black Cole beat lost Adam his. Cole. Yeah. That's wow. huge. Yeah, that's, Black see, that's what I love about NXT is how it's like, it's it feels competitive. It feels real. Like with the fact yeah. that certain guys can beat everybody, but in WWE it's like, well, nope, he's done. Like, and it's, yeah. yeah, it feels like completely different companies, doesn't it? How fucking weird is that yeah. when your developmental you is owners, years though. ahead I mean, of your main owners, product? You got different people running the show. That's the thing. That's yeah, why it's different. Sure. That's why I'm hoping Vince croaks one day. Hopefully he wakes up and he chokes on the grapefruits and we get a Triple H <laughs> running things. Yeah. But uh, just wanted to, uh, you know, put a little uh, teasers out there for everybody. Something to look forward to. But uh, that's it. I'm done. I'm going to go open up this drop mix. And I'm going to get two out. hours of sleep before I have to be on a plane. Yeah. Well, good luck. Good luck. Uh, happy travels. And yep. <sighs> everybody, we'll see you guys in, in two weeks. Bye. Sweet. Cheers. 60 cards included Bruno Mars, Carly Rae Jepsen, The Chainsmokers, Childish Gambino, Disturbed. I, I know Ev- Evanescence great, was on there. What's saw, great is, video. like, I, I honestly, if you told me the first time he ever saw these words mm-hmm. were right now, <laughs> yeah, I would believe you. I would do. <laughs> Carly Ray Jepsen. Disturbed. Childish Gambino. The only one yeah, that really sells me smokers. is like Jim Ross, the Cruiserweight Classic. The only one that really <laughs> sells me is uh, Flo Rida. That's the only one I really care about. So none of the other ones I really care well, about. Well, you got one up on me. So you basically got in a very expensive and overfilled Flo Rida game. Yes. This is, I'm just going to rename it uh, <laughs> Flo Rida Mix. Flow ride mix. So yeah, oh, Matt um, said he's on. He's on. What's that mean? I don't know. It means he's on. I mean, the fuck do you think that well, means? I, I know that. He said he wasn't doing on. the show. I didn't know if he's doing the he show. Said he said if we gave him five minutes, he'd come on. Oh, I didn't. So see. Is I he closed in, like, the chat. Discord then, or I closed <laughs> the chat because I was unboxing this game. Miss you so bad. I miss you so so bad. Well, hello. All right. Yo. Hello, hello, hello. Beautiful. It you is missed beautiful. a I'm lot of bullshit, you. Matt. Let's not recap it, though. You yeah. missed a lot of bullshit. <laughs> we should go right over again. So what is Drop Mix, then? It's, it's great. <laughs> oh, man. How y'all do? Good. I have a boat now. Oh, really? You bought a boat? You don't no, know. I got bitches boat. on it, too. Oh, you don't have no boat. I thought you, I was excited for you. I was gonna be like, I'm gonna come up, I'm gonna fly over and we're gonna go on your boat. And now you just busted. No, I, well, okay. So I spent all of yesterday like in a deep, deep malaise depression okay. because I didn't buy Bitcoin. Oh yeah, everybody is. I, I even know like some randos that uh, that are that like don't even care about the internet, and they're like, why didn't I invest in Bitcoin? It's like shut the fuck up. No, 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 no. This is no. This isn't that. The time. This is. This is, I got like halfway through the process of buying, it used to be a lot more difficult to buy Bitcoin. Mm-hmm. I got like halfway through the process of buying Bitcoin when it was, and I remember very clearly, like $100 each, and like, I was going to buy two. You're mm. talking about like the company and I was Bitcoin? having trouble with the wire process, so I just said, fuck it, and I gave up. Mm. And that's why I don't have Bitcoin. I don't know uh, yeah, you would have had a boat. You would have had a boat. <laughs> So yeah, I'd have a, I would have had that boat. You would have been a boat. You wouldn't have yeah. had drop mix though, because you, you just found out about it. I would have had ten it. drop mix. No, you wouldn't. Don't lie. You would have had all of it. No, but I, I think... don't know where I I ordered like little expansion things too, because you can buy like little separate like cards, like packs. I brought I bought a a, a hip hop uh pack pack, a pop and rock pack. But where the fuck are they at? I don't know. Where I swear at. you wow. said hip hop like you've like it's the first time you hear the word. <laughs> yeah. <hip-hop>. yeah. <laughs> Well, this, I mean, this, this pack I bought a hip hop pack. <laughs> I the kids and their the hippity hoppity hip hop. <laughs> just saying. Now we're gonna drop some beats, I yo. Don't, I don't know where it's at. I I did buy it though. 
Maybe they'll come separate, I guess. I don't buy exactly. it. Do you like hip-hop Well, I mean, pop music? I mean, it's not my favorite genre, but I mean, I'm sure it's cool with this game. Bomber, did you check your packing receipt? No. There's, wait, I don't yeah, maybe, maybe they come in separate it packages. It's to be on there. If it maybe it comes in separate contact, packages. Say, the fuck I don't is think it? there's a receipt in the box. Maybe the hip hop comes separately. God, why are you not doing this on video and putting it on the internet? I know. Oh, there's there's oh. no, uh, no, there's no receipt in here. Okay, then contact the seller and ask what's up. I don't know. It's Amazon. Wait, know. Was this actually sent to you, or did you? Really, you don't it? know it's Amazon. It, Amazon will tell will tell you. Amazon what, will tell you what's how. up. How? The guy through Amazon, they'll tell you. Like, you get to do feedback on your package, and you say, where's my shit? Contact Well, no, I mean, he can go on Amazon and see how many packages it should come in. That, too. You can just see the order and the specifics and all that stuff. Uh, so, so much work, though. Uh, but I, I, either that, or you spent money on things you didn't get. Well, so much for, work. I got it this, for half This off. game sounds And then you bought extra it, things it, that you don't have. But oh well, it's too much work to find out where my extra things I spent money on are. Okay, all right. So just, I, I right just, I just when I put it looked. that way, I just went and looked. <laughs> uh, it says that it's arriving tomorrow by eight p.m. The, that's the hip hop uh, mix. The, uh, the hip hop. And hip hop. Hip hop. It's a playlist pack hip hop that that arrived tomorrow at eight. <laughs> my other one arrives. It says between November thirtieth and December second. That's the rock and pop uh, packs. Well, to, so. to yes. I mean, what's today's date? Today's the 30th. November 30th. Oh, so it didn't so, come today, so we can throw that one right out. You've got two days to go That's true. to get your rock and pop connection, and you're good. All uh, right. It may be tomorrow for the uh, pop Hopefully. pack. All right. <laughs> How you doing, Matt? How's it going? <laughs> I'm just waiting for this uh, podcast about wrestling to start. Yeah, no yeah, fucking kidding. Yeah. Oh, wait. We're hey. about halfway done with the show already. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I've been rolling. This is, we're done.